Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 over on Sandy Bay 22. It's just Sandy Bay guys, but you know, it's been out since 2015, I think the map originally came out on, and obviously it was Sandy Bay then, 17, 19. Obviously, just, it just is now, yeah, <laughs> it's now just, it's just that, so yeah. Um, right, just to give you guys an idea, we've got to get this field done. I'm trying to decide. I think we're going to be better off, guys, doing this uh, anti-clockwise. It's going to put the mower to the outside. I think that makes sense. I think if we put the mower to the inside, we might have some... If we put the tractor to the outside, I think we might have issues. Um, so I just want to try this. I just want to increase that to 10%. Four headlands should be enough, I'd like to think. Let's just see what that looks like. Uh, to be fair, that's... Doesn't look that badly out of place, to be fair. I'll tell you what, let's just go clockwise. Let's just see how it looks clockwise. Oh, that's still got plenty of room, I think. I think that's got plenty of room. I just pressed the wrong button. Uh, right, first waypoint. We'll get this worker going on here. And he's going to have a whale of a time cutting us that grass. There we go. If he has issues, that's my own fault. Yeah. Um, I did have a... I did message the guy who um, did me the map as well. Or did the map and then sent me a copy of it as well. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's right how it is, basically. Um, it's not wrong it's just i think what it is is these are the crops that the field came in so like when we go over and plant next time this will you know what i mean it'll be it'll be right basically next time um right the other thing we need to do we need to go and get our new um windrow as well let me just get rid of that menu off of there it's weird driving third person on this game after doing role play um, bits of the roleplay series and recordings and stuff. Um, but yeah, I did swap out the wind road just so we could use one of the new ones, guys. Um, I, I did state that I was going to do that. I'm not trying to spawn in any any expensive equipment or out like that, but we've used all this other stuff for years now. And so we finally get some new equipment in a DLC. I kind of want to use some of it. So I gave us this one. Um, now, this is actually the biggest one of them all. Now, this is where I'm going to say I didn't just give myself the biggest one. Um, it basically, this is the biggest one, but it requires less power. So, I don't see the point in taking a smaller one that needed more power, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's the reason why we have this one. No other reason than that exact meaning, basically. Um... But yeah, I've not used this one before. Um, this is work mode middle. Now, I am looking forward to trying this. I've seen YouTube videos of all the new deals. I don't make any content for, like, um, what people do for, you know, like the mods and the DLC. I don't make mods and DLC videos. I, I feel like there is plenty of people do enough of those. Um just in general so there's no point doing something just for the sake of it you know what i mean oh you could argue yeah but everybody does farming simulator videos yeah you're right but you know this is i've got to do something if i don't do a farming simulator video i'm just going to sit here and play apex all day and then i'm going to get really ragey at people who want to play a team game and then go and play it as a solo and it's like why don't you just load in as a solo to begin with uh, but as you can see on this we have got quite a bit to do we've got the other field to do the other field can just go straight windrow i do believe that's got stuck but i do believe that's because i've left the gate open right okay that's that's fine if it's if it's stuck because of the gate that's user error do you know what i mean can't really blame the uh the game for that one so, uh, nearest waypoint, go from there, away you go, got no issue with that. But yeah, as long as it works, it's good enough for me. But yeah, if we basically plant the next crop in, it might, it'll go wherever that is, you know what I mean? 
the fields might not line up the first time but once they've done the job and they've had a change of rotation crop everything lines up basically um also the shop windows are basically supposedly meant to be like lights um but yeah again i've got no issue with it I, I just wanted to confirm that was how it was meant to be and yeah that's how it was meant to be so that that is absolutely fine the map is just as stunning as always and i am thinking of swapping that windmill up there for a grain mill to be honest i know it kind of takes the uh, character away like oh yeah but it's not the same map then but there's no productions so if i can bring in a production i will bring in a production yeah you can see how the grass and the and the clover here don't like to be mixed together now when we bale it we won't have a problem the baler will just take it all that's fine uh no issue with that whatsoever this windrow is absolutely fantastic this is probably the best bit of kit from the new dlc um everything else i don't really see me using to be honest ever I might use it at some point on a series just just to use it but personally mm, it's a little bit yeah but i i didn't like the first part of the dlc you know the go, go wheel stuff don't like really that much of the second one i could have got away with not buying the season pass this year i could have got away with not buying the season pass and i can ima i can only imagine now in my eyes now i'm not trying to like diss anything here and you know people you know have different opinions but i, I just feel like everything's just the same but rebranded now and I, and I get that it's kind of a way to do it I, I don't know why i've got such a big overlap here um and i get that you know it's just my opinion but the odd little bits haven't come you know like this windrow is a really nice windrow to be fair probably the best bit of kit on this but i feel like we've had a lot of grass and you know bale work and you know what i mean dlc wise it could have got away with having a lot less um grass work stuff it's not the fighter jet i always thought it was a fighter jet going over a little zessner a little zessner plane as you can see, we are proper shooting through uh, through this. I could do with buying a square baler, actually. I have got a round baler, but I could do with a square baler because hay for square bales just makes more sense, to be honest. Square bales for hay, square bales for grass, but I are doing grass. We won't do just grass. We will always do hay or sil you know, silage bales. Silage bales can go as round bales because we've already got a quick wrap bale for that. But yeah, I feel like we just need to... Uh, I wasn't going to do that. Um, oh, it doesn't matter now. But yeah, we'll get this straight into the other field, the Ford into the other field. We'll bring the John Deere out. We'll get the John Deere in the third field. And like I say, everything's going to be silage and hay and stuff at the moment because that's kind of what we've got to do at the moment. You know, we need to feed our cows some TMR mixture. We haven't got any, we've got no bills on the farm, so that is literally going to be the first few episodes. Now, like I say, I will leave the time on. I don't, I haven't, what's a good time to use in game? Is five a good time? Six, ten? I want to try and do like an episode a day, but when it comes to harvesting like onions and carrots, that'll be different because that, that stuff just takes forever. But overall, yeah. Just, what do you reckon's a good time to be on? Ninety-four pound in wages. Oh, I've got to name my workers after my Patreon and YouTube members. I haven't done that yet. Not on this series. There we go. So as you can see, we are looking really, really good on this. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of this wrapper. Uh, this wind, uh, windrow. Massive fan of this windrow. Now, I could technically get the grass on the edge of the field, guys. Um, I'm just kind of making a rod for my own back doing that, though. 
So I think I'm most likely just gonna leave that to just to be, you know, field on the edge of the grass, basically. Uh, grass on the edge of the field, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that was a little bit uh, of a dodgy turn there, was that? Right, so we're gonna turn down here and we need to turn down here. That is looking really, really well in here. Now I am gonna have to uh, open the gate. There we go. I think one headland will be more than enough on this. Right, we're going to get that in there. Get that in there. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want a... I want a... What is it? I want a square baler. I want a square baler. Um... Yeah, 10% overlap wasn't enough on them corners, was it? Right, let's do this. Uh, first waypoint, do that. We want to do one headland. What do you mean work with is this? Why does this not know what to do? Cost, but why, why does it think it's two and a half meter? I've got no idea how how wide this machine actually is. Let's have a look in the shop. Nothing in the shop still. Um, Windrow is nine meters. You know what I mean? It's it's not even close. It would be nice if you oh you can actually do that. Nine point. I didn't even realise that was an option to do that. Smooth clockwise. Let's do ten percent. Ten percent should be more than enough. Field centers up and down. Clockwise smooth. Yep, yep, yep. I think that is going to be pretty good, to be fair. Um, and he should... I think that John Deere should be just about finished. Now, we'll sit in the Ford for a minute while it does its thing. We're just waiting for the John Deere. Look at that. That's more than enough field edge, field boundary. So, yeah, it is... It's just little niggly bits. And I'm waiting for a tractor, guys. I haven't got a tractor to bring uh, the square baler up. But I'm definitely going to use a square baler for here. Definitely. So we do need to buy... I have got a forage wagon. One. I don't know if I should sell some of this. because I'm, I'm looking at this like, what am I really going to use that for? I wouldn't give myself the money. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty good, and it's got the slurry spreader and the manure spreader and stuff, but I could do hay there, but then I've got to store hay somewhere, and I don't know. Square baler's going to make more sense. But the problem is we always end up using the same square balers, but I can't afford to use. I can't afford to buy a big square baler. What's the cheapest big square baler? Um... 153 grand. We don't have that kind of money. Do you know what I mean? That's why we always end up using one of these old ones. Um, 115. Oh. I meant to press cancel. I meant to press cancel. I did not mean to buy that. Right, okay, so... Okay, you didn't. Let's get that over there. You've now done one headland. You're in each. So that definitely wants two headlands then. I thought one headland would have been enough, but it's not quite enough on this field here. Which is a shame. Um, it's a shame, but it's fine. Didn't quite have the turning circle. That's a shame could really do we're doing the uh, round bills first actually uh, just because the sooner we get them wrapped the sooner they go into uh, turn into silage I've just realized something I've still got one more field to cut with the mower let me do this a different way let me go down to the other field let me get it cut 
I, I want to bail all at once. We need, I think we need a third tractor. We need something with about a hundred and... We could do with a bailing tractor, I think. A bailing tractor. Um, hundred and... Thirty brake horsepower would do. I think it's relatively flat around here. Just don't forget, we've got to cut... Um, not cut, sorry. Yeah, we've got to cut two of our fields manually because they're not fields. So this is why I want to get these on with workers. Because we're going to manually cut grass ourselves really, really soon. Um, so I'm going to put this one on a worker as well. i got to remember to do that. It's in the middle of the thing, not where I am. So let me just move that down there like that. Let me do course play again to get this guy cutting. Like I say, we're going to use bits of course play throughout the entire throughout the, the entire series. This is not target field. Oh, hang on. Um, first waypoint course. Um, open course. Four point three smooth. Let's do fifteen percent. We'll do four headlands, because we know that's a good one on there. We'll do that. We'll go on there. Generate cost. There we go. Sorry, I pressed the wrong, I pressed the wrong button there. Right, he's going to do his thing. He's about to do that. Let's have a look at some really cheap tractors. So we need about 130 brake horsepower. Um, oh, by the way, guys, I've been working on this yesterday. Look at that. Just to give you all a heads up. It's completely error free. Now the only problem I've got at the moment. Is there's no connection on the end of this blue bar here. If anybody knows how to add something on there. So I can get it fully finished. Because when, when a trailer connects to this. It connects here. On like this last hole. But there's nothing there for it. So if anyone can help me out. And knows what to do there to add something onto it. Looks like it's going to connect properly. Would be massively, massively grateful for that. Um, we've got a 150 brake case. I do like that, to be fair. It's, we've never used that before. Front attachment. So we could put a front attacher on it. Or we could leave it just as a... Like I say, just as a mower. 34,000. It would take all the money, though. £28,000 for the little stayer. 143 brake as well. And it's a front loader. So we could... We could leave big tyres on it like that. There we go. Oh, I think we maybe go for that. £32,000. Go for classic used. Classic... No, we'll go for classic used. Black used. Black... No. Let's just go for... Yeah, I like that. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Um, I'll leave the front attacher off for now because we don't need that right now. We have got the telehandler. Um, I, I do want. I do at least want a, a beacon, uh, right hand side beacon light because we're in the UK. Twenty eight thousand pound. Right. So we've now got a little tractor for basically bringing. We're doing bailing. This is our bailing tractor. I think this would be really good to use. You see how that there's got like that little ball and hitch there at the at the bottom. Yeah, I just need something like the ball section. Um, I don't know if that's possible. If anyone knows around like that, I just yeah, it's the only thing I've got left on that tractor to do. It's the one thing missing. This is not going to be the quickest drive up to the shop. Uh, from the shop, sorry. Let's just see how well it copes going up the hills. Yeah, like, you see these little patches of grass, like, here? That's where I'm thinking of putting, like, a small, uh, you know, one of my small productions in. But we'll charge more than 10 grand for the, for the production. You know what I mean? We'll give, a, you know, we'll give the production some decent names, like, Railway summit or other you know what i mean there are there is like so-called spinneries on the map for like selling wool things like that but i'm talking like production wise i didn't see anywhere to 
you know, so we're gonna have to place production to it. I'm, I'm sure I can find somewhere to put them. That's for sure. Thirty mile an hour, apparently. We are not doing. You said thirty mile an hour was the speed limit. I just got a speeding ticket. A hundred and thirty-six pound for driving too fast. You said it was thirty mile an hour on that sign. I'm only. I can only do twenty-five. <laughs> I'm gonna presume that's not quite the um, the speed limit there. I'll have to, I'll double check that. <laughs> yeah, there's a few speed camera vans around. This tractor's fantastic, guys. You might see this over on the farm assistant at some point. It's in it's in the second hand shop to be uh, bought. Oh, that's gonna struggle. See this bit of grass here? That is our field. You know, that's our. I could have spawned it back over at the at the farm. I just wanted to see how well this coped. Like you think, like this bale has not even turned on. This this tractor might be a mistake. It'll be fine on the flat. We could do with not being in high gear, to be honest. I think low would have been a better gear to be in. If I'm honest, I'm just gonna lower that time down from five back to three because we are losing quite a bit of time here. And I've got to fertilise, I've got to lime, I've got to bale, I've got to move bale. I've also just realised we don't have a bale trailer. Hmm. We don't have a bale trailer. That's something we need to uh, keep an eye on as well. But we have got all three fields mowed now. We've got one tedded. Um, we can, I say, we can get the silage made. I want to put some silage in the bunker, but I want to make some bales. Bales are a lot easier at the moment for doing the um, TMR mixes, you know what I mean? That's that's the main thing right now. This shed here is going to be used for storing all of our um, like onions, potatoes, things like that. Stuff that doesn't go in a silo. Now I could put this on a worker, but I really want to, I really want to, I really want to bale. Let's see how well this track goes. Yeah, it's it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. A lower horsepower baler would have been nice, but that's not always possible. I, I don't really know what we're going to get out of this. I, I need this to be clover, which is definitely going to be that. I have missed bits there because I was too busy... Uh, not paying attention right i'm just gonna do this guys because i need this to change back to clover um i want a clover bale but what i'll do i'll just shoot down here i'll get these little bits of myself. i was gonna kick out a, a normal hay bale but i want clover we've got different crops we'll plant different crops you know what i mean but obviously we've got to pick up the 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 bog standard hay as it is but we've still got to pick it up, but we want to try and get uh, as many of these as clover. Like, at the moment, that's just regular hay. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll shoot down in a minute when it gets near the end, and we'll make it into a clover bill. There we go. I don't... Oh, have I? These are not even the biggest bales. I'm not even making the biggest bales right now. We need to be careful with that. Oh, that did not give me a clover bale. Oh, that was not enough, apparently. It was too much normal hay to give me a... Okie dokie. My bad, my bad. User error. But the idea is, I just want to do a little bit of baling in this episode. Because in the next one, we're most likely going to end up moving bale so we'll get the baler doing some baling work and you know what i mean and with, with cosplay we know how wide it is nine meters but yeah we'll uh we'll get that doing that but yeah I, hay and clover hay it's, it's all the same in a way just i was just trying to avoid doing normal hay bales that was all 
So if that's what we end up with, that's what we end up with. Hay's hay at the end of the day. I will stack it separately. I will stack it, um, you know, separately. I'm not going to mix hay and clover here. Like, that gave me a clover bale then. Because there was more clover in that bale than there was hay. Which is fantastic. So, I'll just head up this way. This should all be uh, clover from now on. I think we're going to have one wrong bale up to now. One wrong bale. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Yeah, hopefully, guys, you are enjoying the Bally Spring series. It It's going to start off a bit slow for now. I just, you know, I want to try and show as much detail. I want to do as much work without time lapsing and jump cutting. Just because the map is a classic. You know what I mean? I just don't want to just don't want to jump through it too quickly do you know what i mean i would rather have like two or three episodes in a day for now if we just leave the, the game on maybe like times on times three and we'll just play till it gets dark and we'll start work when it's bright enough do you know what i mean we'll have a full working days however many episodes that if there's nothing to do that's when we'll jump days and things like that but yeah we've got We've got plenty to do at the moment, that's for sure. Right, both those tractors look like they are finished. That is fantastic news. Come on, yeah, this... This has got the power to pull this baler, but it is really, really struggling. And let's be honest, that's not much of a hill, guys. Yeah, this tractor's maybe not going to be much use. Maybe we need to get a little bit more. Either that, or this can be the mowing tractor. We can use, like, the John Deere or the Ford. Um, you know what I mean? There's, we've got three tractors now. We've got to be careful, because we are running a little bit low on the money side of things. So that's something we need to... Uh, we just need to be careful of, really. We run out of money, we're screwed. I don't want to use any any loans or, or anything on this series. I don't believe we have a loan. I do need to double check that. Sometimes the game starts you with a loan. I'd rather start off with some relatively small basic equipment and work our way up. Just as a, a me thing. That's what I like to do. Yeah, I think we'll use this as a mowing tractor. It's not quite good enough for Bailey. It, it's all right on the flats, but it's not quite... Yeah, it's going to struggle. You know what I mean? I'm hardly asking it to do anything there. I'm having to turn the baler off to drive up the hill. Which means this isn't going to be able to bale the other bits either. But communal tyres, this can be grass. Grass, wind rowing... Uh, it's just not very good at bailing. Well, maybe look at buying the uh, Agro Star Big Brother. I think that comes with 170 brake horsepower. It might even be cheaper, actually. It might even be cheaper than buying this one. But I thought, well, a smaller tractor kind of fits the series better. I suppose we'll see how a worker goes, really. We'll get a worker on the next field and we'll see how that goes. Worker might not have as many problems as us. Yeah, I'll leave it on 220 bales. I, I won't do 240. 220 is big enough. We're only making... Uh, we're only making TMR. I know one thing on TMR on this on this map, though, guys. You need to use mineral feed. You have to use mineral feed. I think minimum 5% mineral feed. That's kind of crazy, to be fair. How much mineral feed can you think? 5%. As you can see, we have got this field pretty much, uh, pretty much done. Now, like I say, I'm going to bring this this series a couple of days a week. I will return to Bally Springs and stuff on the Let's Play. Just, yeah, how can I not play this map? I've literally, I talked about this like on Facebook and groups and stuff, and they're like, "Can you send me?" Everyone's like, "Can you send me this map?" And I'm like, "It's not my map to give." 
and I know Oxygen David didn't want it sharing but the guy who changed this map did send me a copy so I could do a, a let's play on it um, just because I'd not done one on a previous version of this map so like I say big shout out to the guy who uh, who did that for me um, massively massively appreciate that I'm, I'm I'm still like a kid at Christmas guys it is exactly what I wanted you know what I mean exactly what I was looking for I can't believe that's 92% so that's gonna give me a that's gonna give me a clover bill in the next one right so the next field is gonna be hmm question if I use the bunker now this is a question I don't know so and I don't know if anyone else will know like I said I'm new to using these new crops if I did this has got alfalfa. This is an alfalfa field, but you can just see the overlap a little bit. Like I say, that'll get corrected next time. Can I do alfalfa silage? Um, I I don't know. That's why I'm... Can I do it and put it in the bunker? We've got alfalfa, alfalfa here. Clover, clover here. Flax. Need to look at flax. Flax seed. Um, yeah, these things, everything's got somewhere to sell as well, guys. Um, the odd little bits that haven't, that's when I'll just bring in one of, like, the uh, map farming uh, sell points. Yeah, I don't know. If I put... Can I put alfalfa? That's none here. So, like, what I've got now. And can I put... Can I wrap it as silage? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Um, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Because I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, but that is all three of our bits of fields mode. Now we do have a little bit of grass we can do in our farm area. So what I might do, I might put this mower onto the Deutzfar. Don't really want to sell the Deutzfar to be honest, but. That 140 brake horsepower is not enough, clearly. Um, so let's have a look in the shop. How much money are we going to get back from that? Uh, so we have got... So we've got the torpedo there. Um, small tractors. Who are in here? Yeah, that's what we've got. 28,000. And I know... No, that's up to 100. 143... Okay, I, do I not? It maybe wasn't a Deutzfar then, guys. It was maybe something else. It was maybe the uh, the little torpedo. The RX-170 is what I was maybe thinking of. Design with a weight. Um, it can have communal tyres, although they don't look very communal to me, just as a, an opinion. No, I'm not a fan of that one, guys. I'm not a fan. Um, it's not under large tractors, though. What have we got under here then? Just I want to go slowly. So we've got the 6.61, which is what we bought, 143 miles per hour. Uh, 143 brake horsepower. Then we've got the 4.61, which is 88 to 100 my, uh, brake horsepower. Then we've got the Deutz DX140, which is 40, 143 brake horsepower. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. I maybe haven't brought it in on this series, guys. That's maybe what I've done. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to swap these. I'm going to swap this over. Um, and I just want to see how how it copes with the mowing. Because we know it can mow. Um, brake horsepower requirement check. Right, so it can't windrow either. Uh, that's not good, guys. This is not a very good track. It's a good tractor for smaller equipment not very good for this yeah well, I don't know we'll we'll think about it we'll think about it um, actually I could do with some grass we, if we get grass we get sheep um, I don't think that field is mine 
So field 21 over there is not mine. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not mine either. Oh, right. So the only... Ah, I thought all that grass was mine. That grass is not mine to do then. So the only grass we've got then is... Is this. Um... Right, okay, that's a shame. Grazing mod doesn't work on this map. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, I'll speak to the guy who converted it because I can put grazing mod on this. That's not the end of the world, to be honest. Um, alfalfa here. Can I tell you what? Let's do a little experiment. I've got a cup, you know. I'm trying to give these to about. I'm trying to keep this to about forty minute episodes because. 30 minutes is usually better, but because it's only going to be a couple of times a week because of the roleplay, I kind of want to just have slightly longer episodes here as well. Um, I just want to try something. I don't know if it'll work. I want to try something. If it works, if, if somebody knows and is like, oh, I could have told you that. Yeah, I've got a couple of minutes I want to kill. It's not like I can start another job for a couple of minutes, but we can do a test. Can I put... Can I put alfalfa grass in a bunker? If I can, brilliant. If I can... Well, if I can, I, I need to windrow this with the, the cosplay, basically. <laughs> right, I've got to be careful to actually... We actually need... I know I'm just getting random bits here, but the the tether will the tether will tidy it all up. I'm not I'm not overly bothered. Um, but yeah, I just want to get a tiny little bit, and I want to see if I can drop it in the uh, in the pit. If I can't silage it, then it'll have to be here, and then grass only. The only downside is we are going to need quite a lot of silage. We're going to need just as much silage as we need TMR. If not, we might need more silage than, uh, uh, than hair, sorry. Yeah, I want to bring in sheep. Now, this is a bunker up here. So, we'll use this top bunker for... Hmm. Technically, the bottom bunker would be better, but... Can I... Can I please dump this in here? This action cannot be performed. So, I can't put that in there. I know it sounds daft, but I'm just going to try the bottom one. So this needs to be tedded. Simple as. Needs to be tedded. We can't make alfalfa silage. Which means we can't make clover silage either. Not without maybe doing something to it. Um, but yeah, so that needs to be here. That's fine. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll go dump this back over at the other side. I do love this little this little thing. Sorry about the little bit of lag there. It's just I'm in a new vehicle. It just needs to lag in the shader cache. It'll stutter for a little bit due to shader cache. But it's from a different vehicle. Different shades and stuff. Um, but yeah, a little bit disappointing with the fact that that can't be made into silage. But we are going to have to make more silage. Um, more, more standard grass fields we, we yeah we need more grass we need just as much grass as we yeah for silage as anything else um so what i'll do just drop that back down there like that because what i'm thinking here is um i won't use this machine just yet but I need to get that field tedded. So that can be a little Deutzfar job. Getting in there with the tether can be a little Deutzfar job. I'm thinking we need to change the Deutzfar tractor though. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we need to do. So I need the ted again. So I put the tether somewhere, and where did I put? Right, I put the tether up there. So we need to put the. Uh, I need to put the mower away. I'm gonna leave the mowing stuff down here. I think. I think it makes sense to leave 
grass stuff down here. We we know where it is then. You know what I mean? We know where it is. I will forget where it is, but for now I know where it is. So if we put the balers in there, the tedders, the windrow, all that kind of stuff in there. Um, I think that would be the best thing. Yeah, I love this little tractor. I genuinely love it. I think it's brilliant. It's just a little bit underpowered for this farm. If it was a relatively small... Like, if I played Letton Farm, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Letton Farm has also just come out. That is another map that I've not played on before. Um, that would be a really good one for really old vintage equipment. If we did like a vintage survival kind of episode where nothing... To be fair, you could do it where nothing go over 130 brake horsepower or 140 brake. You know, something daft like that, something where you could get away with that kind of power. Um, yeah, I didn't get as much done in this episode as I would have liked to have got done. Um, the, that was more just because we're trialing new... We're trialing new things, you know what I mean? We had to drive our new header up here. I keep forgetting already. It's over there like that. That's fine. Um, so we'll get that there. We'll get this on a course play. We'll get it set up. 8.7. One headland. Even not that I really need anything like that. Generate work course. And that is, I tell you what. First waypoint, do that. But yeah, we've got quite a bit we need to uh, get done now. We can use the Deutschfahrt once again over in the um, cow field because we can use it to cut. So, like I say, we'll have the sheep area. I I'll see about adding the grazing mod in because, if anything, I would like the grazing mod just for the sheep. If, it if I only get it for the sheep, it would be nice to bring it in just for the sheep, you know what I mean? We could plough this out, we could get some really good quality sheep. Oh, I didn't realise there was a shed in here. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's a bit patchy. If we if we were to plough this out and put some proper grass down, some really good quality grass. Although then again, if you look at the size of this field, even with the ball patches, it might be alright. Yeah, we don't we don't own any of this land. I thought we owned that one. I actually meant to, but we need to buy that one. That that piece of land there, field 28, which is farmland 9, we need to buy that. Can you see how it's a slightly not quite the right shape? But it's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. We have got some food in. Oh, yeah, I wanted to test something. Now, these will take alfalfa. These will take uh, hay. They'll take clover hay, grass. Oh, they'll take it all, basically. Um, obviously over here we've got the chickens, but we've got nothing to feed the chickens with. Uh, maybe get a strimmer coming here, tidy this up a little bit at some point. But you can see where the chickens will spawn their eggs. Just kind of giving you a little tour of what we, you know, what else we can do. So, yeah, hopefully guys, you've enjoyed this episode. I know one thing I've had, an, I've had a blast playing uh, Sandy Bit once again. Just gonna basically let. That guy finished down there with the Ted in. Uh, I'm going to move this window over to the field because I, I like to do that so that so that I don't forget. A lot of traffic here. But yeah, as I say, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have enjoyed watching Sandy Bay, guys, and you want Sandy Bay to continue, hit the like button. Massively important that, for me, the amount of views and how many people like tell me if people are enjoying a series if people are not enjoying a series why would you know what i mean it's like why would you bring it you know why would you carry it on um, but i really do like the map so it's definitely going to stay for a little while but if you want to see it more let me know um i can maybe record i can maybe bulk record more episodes so it does more than twice a week i don't know it's it's a trial and error at the moment guys um to what people like for this series as i say if you like it hit the like button so i know but until the next time guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next episode